Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of The Cutting Edge. Today it's going to be a fall edition because today we're going to be doing an autumn shave with the Autumn Glory Shave Soap from Sterling Soap Company. And the razor we are going to be using today is, and I just required this razor, the Mercure 34C two-piece razor. And the blade I'll be using is the Feather Blade. The sharpest blade in the DE arsenal as far as Kai blades are before that. Okay, and the um, let's get the soap into the bowl. Just a little bit, and I'll do another bowl lather shave for y'all today. So I'm gonna sm smear it on the bottom. Okay, and the brush I will be using today will be the um, West Coast Shavings. Ancient Stone Collection Pure Badger Brush. It's going to be the Red Jasper Brush. And I had it soaking in my little cup here. So I'll shake it out a couple times. Dripping but not wet. Okay. Okay, I get that. I'm going to start lathering this up. So how's everyone been doing? This fall was an interesting... Um, well, this fall had started interesting for me. Not in a while I like it either. <laughs> My throat was sore last night. It started getting sore on me. I think the allergies are starting to come in. But I was working outside last night too. And I think that might have jump started it for me. And my nose was getting stuffy today as well. But I'm sure a lot of you people are fighting allergies right now and you probably already have all right this pure badger brush to work a very easy to grip brush I hold it like this when I'm lathering my soap huh? and again this is the sterling soap company's autumn glory and the smell is like you're walking through a, a, the woods in the morning and the, when you know when fall's starting up, and the leaves are falling off the trees, and there's mist on them, so it's a brisk morning, and the leaves they give you this odor, a good fall odor. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, this brush holds a lot. <laughs> Let me wet my face. Huh? To warm this water up. It's, there it is. Mm. Mm. I just got out of the shower. Okay, nice and moist. Alright, let's get to face lathering. I'll, I'll lather in the. And I've got about three or four days' growth, I believe. Yeah, it's close to four days, three and a half days. I don't usually let it get out this long, but I was trying to do a fall shave. I hope I got enough soap. This... Oh, no, no, no. Huh. That will not do. Huh. I need to lather up some more. I didn't quite get enough of this. Oh. I usually don't fall short of lather. This brush is different for me. Okay. Just a little bit more. Good golly, I thought I had plenty in there. I usually end up having too much, and this brush lathers it up very differently. And okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. And I should get it. Mm. I've used this brush a few times, but I haven't had any trouble with leathering. And I'll tell you, this has a good autumn scent to it. The smell of the fall leaves on a brisk fall morning. I notice with this brush too, it paints on neater. 
it doesn't overset the soap and it leaves it you know in an even like you're using a paintbrush Shaving in the fall, so I can show you all what shaving is a time to have a ball. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed my little tune. <clears throat> okay, faces ladder up good. All right, let's my hand off a little bit. <laughs> Okay, Mercury 34C, two-piece razor, feather blade, very little overhang, so not too much to worry about, and it's a very mild razor, very little blade gap, very popular razor, I hear it talked about all the time, and that's why I wanted it so much, it's, it's a rotation razor for so many people, I really wanted to have it, and all right, first pass, we'll get or with the growth. Feather blade. Mm hmm. Yep, it's taking it down pretty good. Okay, hold it properly. Sometimes you gotta do little short strokes if you have such long growth. Ah. Uh. Very comfortable razor. Certainly makes the feather blade very tolerable for especially if a beginner decides to use the razor. And again the sterling soap is fantastic. It's Got an amazing slickness, and it can have good residual slickness. Hear that? Good feedback. And this razor's, sorry, this razor is actually a heavy duty too. That contributes to uh, the weight of the razor. Boy, those whiskers are swimming. Okay. Uh Such a comfortable razor with a feather blade. Okay, using a mild razor with a very aggressive blade, such as a feather blade, brings out the best of both. Okay, rinse the razor. <clears throat> rinse the face off with a little warm water. Man, that's such a good pass.
And again, I hope everyone's having a good day so far and ha or has had a good day. it up a little extra here I'm actually feeling that blade now a lot more than I was no matter if you use a mild razor or not and you use a very aggressive blade it can still bite you somehow in some way so I always take care and caution when you're using a mild razor and a very aggressive blade such as a feather blade yeah okay, remix this so a tad bit still had more in there yes. Man, I'm gather some more soap. Didn't put a whole bunch in here, but I did like about three tiny fingertips. I thought I did good on that. This brush is very different. It, it wants to lather up differently, and I guess it just didn't do it the way I'm used to it. Even though I've used this brush about three times, maybe four times. You still have to take care, and if you have a certain way of lather or, or a certain amount of lather or soap you use, you still have to kind of play with it. Especially if you're not used to a certain kind of brush. When I first started using this badger brush, it, I smelled the brush before I washed it, and it smells like you know, like you're smelling an animal or any hair. And um, when I got it wet, I hate to say it, but the smell reminds me of dead, a dead animal. That was it was just nasty. I had to wash it. I put it in, some, in some shampoo and conditioner. Washed it in some antibacterial soap. And it'll still have that hair scent to it. But that dead like smell goes away. Across the growth. Second pass or second pass. And if it keeps smelling like that, I may have to uh use some baking soda and vinegar. Yeah, baking soda and vinegar should help with the scent if it doesn't stop. So far, it's not as bad. Yeah. My chin is one of my trouble spots when it comes to going across or anything. So far fall has been good except for these so-called allergies of mine. It's no fun waking up, actually no, being at work in your nose or or your, uh, your throat hurts. And again, the scent's not very strong. I mean, it's not too strong. So if you're not a fan of the strong scent soaps, then it shouldn't be a problem. It's not like a medium high scent, high scent profile, I think. I'm approaching 15 minutes on my on my filming, so I'm doing pretty good. Okay, is this going to be the first time I don't cut myself? Because I think it is. 
So far, yeah, I have not cut myself on this video. On the last shaves I've done, I've done at least one or two, if not more cuts. So, so far, folks, fellow shaving buddies, I have not cut myself on this video. Feeling for sleekness. You may want to. Okay. Rinse my face with some warm water. Mm. Let's go for the final pass. Another with the growth to kind of catch the strays. Let's see if I get enough on this brush. Very thin application. Thin, but the slickness is uncanny. You could say I don't want to fall short, but I think I already have. <laughs> I think this would be good enough for a third, a quick third pass. A very thin application. I know it don't look that great, but. I kind of fell short on making my lather today. I do apologize. Well, it performs. Despite the thickness. So it goes to show you don't have to have walls of lather to have great performing soap. I'd also like to point out a safety tip. Um, one time I used my variant razor. I was shaving back here around my uh, neckline. Take note and be very careful where your razor is pointing at because I cut the bottom of my ear once and it left a nice little line down here. And it wasn't too hard to clean up or anything. It just, you know, it didn't feel very good. You never want to cut yourself. And areas you're not shaving. Again, this lack of lather is actually doing just enough for my third pass. Oh, what do you know? It didn't work out. Got a weeper. Every time I go into a conversation. Trouble spot, neck. Oh, some right there. Okay, rinse the razor. And I'll rinse my face off. <sighs> Very nice shave. I needed that because my face was getting itchy on me and okay and to finish to start off the post shave, I'll be using my Tian Dickinson's Witch Hazel 100% Natural Astringent, which contains alcohol, that's like 10%, and 12 drops of tea tree oil that I put in myself. Put a nice palm full. Okay. 
set. Let it sit for a moment while I rinse out my bowl and my brush. Using warm water. I didn't notice any uh, hair loss from my badger brush. It did it a few times when I used it before, or my last few shaves. First through the second and third shave. I believe this is my, well, this might be my third or fourth shave with the brush. Okay, I did the witch hazel. Oh, another, another fun product I'm gonna use today. The aftershave. Yeah, the aftershave I'm going to use is the uh, Blade Brisk by CVS. It is their alternative to Skin Bracer. You can see that on that bottom text. Compared to Skin Bracer or Men and Skin Bracer. Okay, I'm going to shake that up real good. A good roll is to shave your, shake your aftershaves. I wouldn't go shaving my aftershaves. It wouldn't really go over so well. Okay, nice little palm full I couldn't show you. This is gonna, this is gonna smart. Give it a moment. It's kicking in up here. Uh, I've had some redness up here prior to the shave, so it's it's gonna burn more up there. And plus the shave kind of kick started that because I had some skin, some dead skin up here and. I think it might have been from prior shaves. I might have gone too high up on my nose. Very refreshing and a nice little burn. It's between a, it's a medium burn. Well, a mid-medium. Between low and medium. Smells really good. And the sinuses and all that. This is why I'm using menthol to shave, is because my sinuses are giving me issues and my throat's bothering me. And I thought this would help my nose and be a good start to fall. Okay. Let that sit just a bit. Okay. Stop the bleeding. Okay. But yeah, I've got that bad redness up here. I've, I've had it for like a week. I've been putting lotions and stuff on it, and, and I still keep having these little patches of dead skin kind of sitting there. And I've had to use Nivea Balm, and okay, and let me tell you what I'm going to use now. The Star Jelly this is the final application. Another mentholated product. Kind of, what I like to do is I'll dab it like this. Oh man. The tears are coming to my eyes. Because it's just that good. Oh, there's the burn again. Ah, this up here is... I can't get rid of it. Give it another week or so, it should be gone by the next shave, but I won't beckon on it. All right, folks, and there we got it. My autumn shave. And let's go over what I've used. Autumn Glory Shaving Soap by Sterling Soap Company. The bowl I used was my Awesome handmade bowl I've used in most videos I've made so far. The West Coast Shaving Ancient Stone Collection Red Jasper Pure Badger Brush, 24 millimeter knot. Very fantastic brush. Performed superbly. But the soap I used, I didn't put enough soap in the bowl and I've had to repeat myself on that. Which is okay if you have to do it. You can, it's better than adding too much water. Okay, and then... And to follow the post shave, I oh, the razor I used again was the Mercur 34C, two piece razor. and screws from the bottom. And blade of choice was the Feather High Stainless Steel, 
twist it just where it tightens up. And the post shave was the TM Dickinson's Witch Hazel, followed by the Blade Brisk, CVS Skin Bracer um, Aftershave. And follow that with some star jelly, unscented, mentholated from Phoenix Artisan and Accoutrements. And there we have it, folks. That was the fall shave, and I hope you enjoyed my, my new video. Thank you all for your subscriptions, and um, I look forward to you know seeing what you all think. If you leave a comment below, I will make sure to like or love the comment or try to answer your question. And have a good night, and have a, have a good fall, and I'll see you all real soon.